The bike will be used an electric accessory hub for a bicycle that is powered by the rider. The hub will include devices such as a GPS. Please welcome the Bike Buddy team. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Ethan Pemble, computer engineer. I'm Nick Quinlan, electrical engineering major. I'm Noel Park, electrical engineering. I'm Ari Nassi, electrical engineer. And our, our product is the Bike Buddy. Uh, as for the motivation for our project, uh, we noticed that traditional generators that you buy at bicycle shops are only used to power uh, headlights. And we are intrigued by the possibility of expanding uh, options for bike riders with ge these generators. Uh, another source of inspiration was to uh, uh, show consumers alternative use of energy in, on a mass scale with our product. The Bike Buddy will be using a portable AC generator to harness the power from pedaling. This power will in turn be stored in a series of lithium ion batteries and is supplied to this, our display unit and an external S USB which will power an array of different devices. The Bike Buddy attaches to the bicycle and displays riding information on our LCD screen such as speed, direction, latitude and longitude coordinates, the ambient temperature, and the power that's being generated by the rider. Some of our goals for this project were to provide the rider's position and direction using our GPS system, to efficiently power all these systems with the AC generator while displaying accurate information to the rider. Here's a powerful diagram of the entire system I'll walk you through. First, the AC power will be generated by pedaling the bike, which will be converted to the DC. That, uh, the power will uh, control the, the battery charging circuit. We'll, we'll, we'll be controlling two lithium ion batteries, which will be um, regulated um, separated by three, three different regulators um, supporting um, devices. The so supporting um, batteries, when, when it hits certain level, it will switch to the other batteries. The LCD will display temperature, humidity, the power is being generated by generator, and um, locations and um, rider speed by GPS. Also, the U USB will let us use any other devices, such as MP3 players, cell phones, or fan, lights, any other devices that use USB power sources. Now, for the uh, design review, um, the generator is outputting um, six watts. Um, they could go up, I think in our um, preliminary testing, it went up up to about 40 volts um, AC. And this is being converted, um, actually, to charge two lithium ion batteries. Uh, the charging process will take approximately 60 minutes for, for each um, battery. Um, the reason we're using two batteries is because as you um, riding the bicycle and creating um, um, electricity, once you stop, um, we don't want the unit to um, to suddenly uh, um, shut down. So um, one, of the, one of the batteries is actually going to be used to charge a unit while another is, is, being, uh, um, is being charged. And this whole process is going to switch back and forth just so you have one battery that's um, fully charged um, at a moment when you stop. Um, for uh, further applications that we may add in the future to this, um, we may expand on the GPS capability, adding a, a, a maps and, and directions. Um, it could also support um, um, other types of uh, uh, components we may add to it, um, sort of sort of like indoor components. Um, the power that's been generated is not um, is not a whole lot enough to, for example, um, power a um, a computer, uh, but if we change the generator, for example, that is something that's a bit more powerful, we could um, power something that that's, requires a lot more energy. 
um, and we thank you for being here. Thanks everyone for hanging in there with us this afternoon. Uh, thank you Dr. Ritchie, our program advisor, and a special thanks to Progress Energy for making this possible.